again, I thought our guys' effort and fight was was great tonight. Uh, gave us gave us a chance to to win a, a hard <clears throat> a hard game, and you know we, there's a lot of things that we could have done a lot better, but the effort, uh, the competitiveness um, was was high level again from our from our group. Uh, so pleased with that, and um, you know we, we we had our chances tonight uh, that. that it, we didn't. It didn't go our way one way or the other, um, but overall, good good effort from the group again. Sean Cunningham, Luke, with all those lead changes that you had, and um, I know a lot of people might look at the final sequence there, but um, what impressed you most about being able to figure out this opponent a little bit without having so much time, as we talked about early in the uh, before the game? Just what impressed you most? Well, um, again, I thought it was how we responded to the run that they went on uh, late, late in that third quarter. Um, you know, we started, we started to you know, get a little selfish again. We started to try to do it by ourselves, and, and that caused us to rush some shots. That caused us to get some turnovers, uh, and then we got a group out there that came together and, and, and showed like this is for us, for who we are as a team, this is how we have to play uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. So I was, I was very uh, happy to see, you know, see that and then go into the fourth and even build up a lead of our own. And uh, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's what we're looking for. The NBA is a tough league. I mean, these guys, they got James Hart guys, you know, we, we fought and scrapped and he's at 33 and hit some, you know, so the step back three when we were trying to double team him from 25 feet, like that's what he does. Um, and, and so that's where, you know, we got to, that's where we got to make sure we don't make mistakes building up to that point uh, to give ourselves a better chance. Um, but yeah, some of it was, you know, we got some guys out there. I, my guess that haven't seen, you know, haven't been in the league since John Wall played last. And, you know, we talked about he's a right-hander, but he likes to drive left. He's always looking to reject screens. And, like, those are things that hurt us uh, throughout the game. And, and those points, you know, those points add up. So, um, you know, I, I, again, there's, you know, happy with the effort. Um, you know, it, no, we got we to gotta, we gotta get a lot better still. So it's not a, not a surprise. Uh, we gave ourselves a chance. That's all you can ask for. Jason Jones. Hey, Luke, wanted to ask you a little bit about Marvin, just because it's his third year, but it's also real. He really didn't play much at all last year. So the way he was struggling a little bit on offense, that to be expected just because he's still in a lot of ways figuring things out on both ends of the court. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, especially when you play a team like Houston, they, they got their guys back tonight. They got. You know, they, they play that switching defense that they've been doing for years. They, I mean, some of these defenders, as, as big as you think you have these advantages, and, and that's what Houston wants you to do. They want you to try to post up P.J. Tucker, James, Eric Gordon. These are strong guards, and, you know, they're, they're great at stripping the ball. They're great at, at causing disruption. Um, so, you know, that, that, you, know that you, you learn that the more you play against, you know, this team and, and these guys – um, and, and with Marvin, a lot of these, is, this is still, uh, you know, these are still, still some good learning experiences that he has to go through as a player. James Ham. Hey Luke, the, the schedule is just totally bizarre this season. You play this team again next, uh, that'll be three teams and six games. Um, what do you have to do in order to make the changes necessary for that next game? Well, you know, we'll do a we'll do a, a limited contact practice tomorrow. We'll have a film session to go through some of the stuff that hurt us. Uh, we'll make some 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 adjustments behind it, um, and, and then we got to come out and, and and fight the same way we've been fighting all year. And uh, you know, the mindset now is okay. We're out here to try to get a split. Like you said, it's different. It's weird. It's strange. But here we are on a two game trip and. We lost the first road game, and now we got to do do what we can to try to get a split out of this. Jason Anderson. Hey, Luke. You mentioned that they got their guys back tonight. Um, what you know? What was your your impression of John in particular, and um, how did you feel your your guys handled that that challenge of uh, you know kind of matching up with with three all stars out there? Yeah, our guys did good. 
Um, as far as accepting the challenge, we just, again, the mistakes we made uh, from a mental, uh, the mental side of the game uh, is where those points really started adding up. Like I talked about John, and uh, his left-hand drives, when we had some big switched on him that, that probably aren't used to guarding him. Um, you know, his reject of screens, uh, you know, Eric Gordon is, you know, he's a knockdown three point shooter. And a couple of times we, we, you know, we did soft switches on him. So, so just those type of mistakes. And, and that happens with, you know, teams that are where we're at that are trying to get to where Houston's been for the last few years. Um, and, and we have to, it's frustrating at times, but you, you live with that, you learn from that, you keep moving. Uh, again, I'll go back to the how I felt about the effort they they had to, to play against the team that has those type of all stars and, and James Harden, who's an MVP candidate every year. Um, and you know, I love our guys. Our guys fight again tonight. Matt George, Luke. Of course, this is a talented Houston roster, but James Harden took a little bit longer than he normally does to uh, to really start scoring until he ended up with 33 points. Uh, can Does it feel like a bit of a missed opportunity early on? Does the team have to do a better job of taking advantage of slower starts from star opponents? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's, this team's been fighting for – I know it's not the same team, but – uh, to say us not beating Houston is a missed opportunity. Uh, we had our opportunities for sure tonight, uh, but this is, uh, I know they got off to an 0-2 start, but they got some of their horses back tonight. This is a very good team. Um, so we, we had some missed opportunities throughout the game. We gave ourselves a chance to win. Uh, tonight, it didn't, it didn't go in our favor, um, but we did a lot of good things and we did you know, too many poor things tonight. Okay, time for just a few more. Tony Harvey. Tony. You're muted, Tony. Oh, okay. Now, can you hear me, Coach? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, back to the roster. Uh, Christian Wood, he's been bounced around a little bit around the league, but, you know, he's started off uh, really good for the uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, was that something that you guys was kind of expecting him to do uh, since he um, started the season pretty well? Yeah, I mean, it was a big part of our game plan. You know, him and James Harden have that pick and roll game where you got to be up on James, uh, and, and James is a brilliant passer, so they, they're hitting Christian on a lot of those early slip outs. Um, and a, a big part of our, our scouting report was – bringing a low man over early and that was one of the that's one of the things that we really did not do a good job of tonight consistently uh, when I talk about the, the mental part of the game uh, we didn't execute that part of the game plan very well and he hurt us every time we were late on that low man he's a big talented athletic um, you know skilled finisher and you know he's been he's this third third game but he's hurt all three teams that that have tried to play against him uh so far so you gotta give him credit okay two more questions jason anderson luke i know monty's been away for a while i think maybe you guys have have you had a chance to catch up with him there in houston and um you know what what's his feedback been as far as what, what you guys have done over the last week or so yeah monty's out here um you know, we, we, we spent some time together before the before the game uh, tonight, and uh, you know, I'll see him again tomorrow at practice. Um, but you know, he's he's at least from what he's telling me, <laughs> he's pleased with how the how the group is playing. Last question, James Ham. Hey Luke, I just want to check in on Halliburton. That, that was a huge fall for a young guy, and uh, just make sure he's all right. Yeah, um, I, I, from my, to my knowledge, he's he's okay. He told me multiple times he was okay. Uh, he was as I walked in here. He's in the training room. Obviously, that was a pretty hard fall. So I'm sure once uh, once they we get some information, they'll, they'll let you guys know. But as of what I know of right now, he's fine. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year, everyone.